Hello and welcome to NJ SharePoint YouTube channel. My name is Bija and I am a Microsoft SharePoint MVP. And in this video, we are going to see how we can use copy document SharePoint designer workflow action in SharePoint Online. So basically, copy document workflow action allows us to copy a document from one document library to another document library in SharePoint. So you can use that in SharePoint Online, SharePoint 2013 to SharePoint 2016 as well. I will show you, show you how we can use this thing in SharePoint Online. In the same way, you can use it in SharePoint on-premises as well. So uh, let's get started. I'll open. Uh, I have uh, basically two document libraries in my site. You can see here this is a source document library and I have a destination document library as well. So and in this source document library, I have a status column. Let me just show you. If I edit this, I have two uh, options over here. One thing is approved and another one is rejected. So the requirement here is if the document is approved, then only it should move. Uh, uh, the document should be copied to the de destination library. You can also, you know, delete the um, uh, once it is copied, you can delete also. But uh, let's see, we'll just copy this. So I'll open my SharePoint designer. So let me open uh, SharePoint designer 2013. And I'll open my site. So this is the SharePoint Sky site. So if you'll see here, this is the site URL. So the site we are opening in using SharePoint Designer 2013. So let it open first. So once it will open, what we'll do is we'll create a list workflow and we'll choose our document library, which is our source document library. Um, and it should uh, it should show us there. So this is my SharePoint designer. Uh, let it, it is just loading the site. So you can see here it is loaded now. So I'll go to the workflows from the site objects. And in this workflows, what I'll do is I will create a list workflow. So this is the list workflow option. option. I'll uh, click on this. And you can see here, this is my source document library. So I'll click on that and then we'll give a name for that. Suppose I'll say copy or documents overflow. And you can give a description and this is the platform type SharePoint 2013 as here. Click on OK. So now your workflow uh, screen will workflow designer will open. You can see it here. So this is the stage one. So you can uh, give any stage. Suppose I'll say copy a stage. And uh, next, what I'll do is I will add a uh, uh, if condition. So because we want the, if the status is approved, then only it should uh, copy the document. So you can see here if any value equals to value. And in the value, I'll choose current item. So basically, this is the current item. And I'll choose the status. So this is the status column you can see here and we'll choose the value is approved. So if it is approved, then what we want is we want to use the copy document action. So now if I'll expand this action, you can see here uh, in the list actions, there is a copy document action is there. So uh, add that and then it is saying from this library to this library. So click on the first this. So which one we want to copy? We want to copy the current item. So uh, pretty simple current item is selected. Click on OK. And then in the destination library, I will choose my destination library. You can see this one. And the transition stage, I'll say go to a stage and end the workflow. So this is how our workflow is. I'll just coming back here and I'll start the workflow when item is changed. So now the workflow is changed. So you can uh, you can see here edit the workflow if you want to check for errors. Just click on this button and then you can see here there is no error in that. You can put logs over there after copy if you want to delete you can do that as well. And now let me publish it. So once it is copied let me publish it. So it will take some time to publish it and once it is published to the site uh, for that particular list, we'll go to that list and we'll upload a document and uh, then we'll change the status because the workflow will trigger on item edit. So now the workflow is published. I'll open the site. So this is my source document library. If I'll refresh the refresh this library, you'll be able to see uh, that uh, column will appear in the view section as well. You can see here, this is the section it is coming. And here, what I'll do is I'll upload a document. So I will go here and there is a test document. I'll just upload it here. You can see here it is uploading. 
and once it is uploaded uh, let me just refresh it it is not yet completed you can see here now it is completed so then what we'll do is uh, i will edit the properties so i'll say more and then properties and here i'll click on this edit all and i'll opt to uh, edit the properties suppose i'll say test document and most importantly i'll make the status as approved and click on save so once i click on save you can see here uh, it is edited properly and uh, if i refresh it you will be able to actually click the uh, stage and you will be able to see exactly what has happened here so you can see here i'll click if i'll click on this copy stage it will open the workflow details page where you will be able to see exactly what is happening over there so you can see here uh, not yet started if we'll refresh it will come and meanwhile also we'll uh, we will see in the destination library also you can see here the um, item is already copied so you can see here this one you can see this is already copied over there this document so um now once you'll refresh uh, you know it will come here in the workflow history also you'll be able to see that so this is how the uh, the workflow copied uh, the document from our source list uh, source library to this destination library so hopefully you like this video and if you really enjoying our videos subscribe to our youtube channel uh, enjoy sharepoint and you will be able to get notified on various uh, youtube videos that we usually upload so we um, we are uploading videos on sharepoint office 365 microsoft flow power apps designer apps all of, all this list sharepoint related technologies uh, videos you will get it over there so thank you have a nice day